Hey guys, so today I am going to walk you through how to create your contact list using Google Drive. I absolutely love Google Drive because honestly it's just such a great way to streamline everything in your business, have one spot where you can have all of your business um, you know, materials and resources and things. And I love that Gmail specifically allows you to kind of like sync everything together. YouTube, um, your Gmail, Google Drive, I mean all of it is kind of tied together. And so that's the reason why I use Gmail and Google specifically. So I'm going to show you how you can create a contact list um, using Google Drive. So if you don't already have a Gmail um, account for your business, I suggest you set one up. It's totally free. Like I said, um, there, there's some great things about Gmail that I really love. Mostly the fact that, like I said, it kind of allows you to streamline everything and have all of your business info in one spot. So if you don't already, make sure you set up a Gmail account. Now, this is my Gmail inbox, and you will see here, I don't know if you have um, ever accessed Google Drive, but if not, if you go up to this area in the top right here that has the nine little boxes, and then click on the icon that says Drive, it will take you to your Google Drive. Now, if you've never used it before, yours will be totally empty, but mine has a lot of stuff in here. So, um, but that that's okay. Don't worry about all of this. Yours will be empty, but I'm going to show you now how you can... Um, set up your contact list from from here. So all you have to do is go here and click new and then do a new Google Sheet. And Google Sheets is actually pretty much um, exactly like Excel. So, um, you know, when I got my MacBook, I actually, you know, didn't even invest in Microsoft Office because once again, I love Google Drive for this reason. Um, you know, you can create let me go back here. You can create documents. You can create um, spreadsheets. You can create PowerPoint presentations. You can create forms. Um, there's just so many great, uh, you know, tools and resources here in Google Drive that I love. So, um, but I created a Google Sheet right here by clicking on New. And uh, you guys, I will keep it very, very simple with a contact list. The reason is because I think if you try and overcomplicate it, put too many columns and information and things, you're not going to keep up with it. You want your contact list to be something that you're constantly adding to um, and something that you're constantly updating every single day. I always add and subtract people from my contact list, you guys. Like pretty much every day I have my contact list up in the background um, so that I can easily, I mean, like I said, add people to it when I need to. So the way that I have my contact list set up is I will just, like I said, keep it very simple. I put their name email or Facebook because that's pretty much how I communicate with my people. It's either through email or through Facebook. Um, I will add a um, follow-up date and then what I'm following up about and then oops let me drag this so it's a little bit bigger and then I will do a progress check-in box and I'll kind of go through each of these for you. And how I basically use this to um, to help move my business forward. And like I said, you guys, this is just how I do mine. I keep it very simple and just keep the necessary um, information here. But like I said, if you want to build on this, if you want to maybe add a column that says, you know, what program you're talking to them about, that would be great to add as well. But like I said, keep it simple because then I think it's going to be more likely that you're going to um, keep updating it. You know what I'm saying? So if you go here to this box, I usually will just change this to black and then change my text to white so that it just kind of looks like a header. Um, you can bold it, do whatever you want. Um, but then you guys, you know, whenever I, so how, this is basically how I use my contact list. Whenever I start talking to somebody about health and fitness, um, coaching or a challenge group or any of that, that is when they go on my list. I personally do not put people on my contact list that I'm forming with or building a relationship with. Now what a lot of people will do is maybe create a second sheet for your contact list. So like down here you can create an, um, a duplicate sheet. Maybe the second sheet is um, for people that you're forming and then this sheet is for people that you're inviting. You know what I mean? So maybe people that you're forming with you put them here and then once you get to the point where you invite them you move them from this list right here to your invite list. Does that make sense? So, but for me, I just have one. And whenever I am, um, get onto this subject of health and fitness or challenge group or coaching, like I said, I will put them on this list. So, um, I'll use, 
um, you know, just use Autumn as an example. Um, so pretend that I'm talking to an Autumn Calabrese um, on Facebook and, you know, she asked me about um, getting started in one of my challenge groups. So what I'll do is I'll write Facebook here. That means that I'm talking to them through Facebook Messenger. And when the day that that person and that the day that we start talking about that challenge group or that invite has been sent to them for a challenge group, I will set a follow-up date for one week out. So, for example, today is January 13th, so let's pretend I just started talking to Autumn today about my next challenge group in February. Um, since today is the 13th and we, you know, got onto this subject today, I will do 1-26-2016 um, as my follow-up date. And what I'm doing basically by filling in this follow-up date is it's basically solidifying that in one week, whether our conversation is continued or not, I will make sure that I follow up with her and continue this conversation and check back in. Okay, so I will do follow up number one on here. Follow up one. Because that means it's it's the first time that I'm going to be following up with her and it will be in one week. In exactly one week, I will send my first follow-up message, basically, is what that means. Okay? Now, me personally, I will send people four follow-ups before um, I basically uh, kind of move them into this next category, which is a progress check-in. So now let's continue on with Autumn. Let's say um, it's the 20th. You know, every single day what I'll do with my contact list is I'll come in here. I'll select the entire sheet by clicking just the top right corner right here. I will go to data, sort range, data has header row, click this box right here, and then sort it by follow-up date. And what that will do is that will show me all of the people that I need to follow up with on that day. So if we pretend like it's a week, um, a week has passed, it's the 20th. Now this is going to show up because, oh, today is the 20th. I started talking to Autumn a week ago and I need to follow up with her. So now I know I need to send her my follow up number one message, right? Um, and what I do is I'll send her that message. I'll send her my follow up. It'll basically say something like, hey, hope your week has been going great. Just wanted to check back in and see if you've thought more about getting started in my challenge group that starts in February. I'd love to have you and help you get started on your health and fitness goals. What do you think, girl? Are you ready to get going? That's basically what my follow up message will sound like. I'll send her that. And then what I do is I will change this date for one more week out. So I will change it to the 27th. And then I will change this message to follow up two. So that means that in one more week, when I sort my, my contact list, Autumn will pop up again, and it, her second follow up is what will be sent. So then I will send another follow up message um, that following week. And I continue on, you guys, until I um, get to four follow up messages. Now, if I get through all four of my follow ups and she has not responded to any of them, you guys let me also backtrack and say that, um, like, if she didn't respond to that first message, I would still send follow up two. If she didn't follow, respond to follow up two, I'm still going to send follow up three, um, and so on and so forth. But if I get to that fourth mes message and she still um, doesn't respond back after I've checked back in a week later, what I will do is I will put her then in my progress check inbox. And I will basically um, put a date for one month out. So let's pretend, like I said, let's go back here. Let's pretend that I've already done all four of my follow ups with her. Um, it's the 20th, or sorry, it's the 13th. And she still hasn't responded. So now what I do is I will change this to progress check in because that means, hey, I've checked in with her four times. Um, she hasn't responded. Now must not be the right time, but I never delete people off of my list, you guys. What I'll do is just put in progress check-in, and then I'll put the date right here for one month out. So I will do 2-13-16. And what this means is basically in one month, I will check back in with her and just do a check-in and say, hey, just wanted to see how things have been going with you. Haven't talked to you in a while. How has your progress been with your health and fitness goals? You know, in a nutshell, that's basically what I send to them. And what I'll do after that, you guessed it, I will change the progress check-in date for another month out. So every month I'm always checking back in with her. I hope that this makes sense, but really I think that keeping it really short and simple and putting this information on your contact list is going to be super important and making sure that you're updating your dates and just keeping um, 
keeping up with your follow-ups and knowing where you're at with your conversations with people. It just will help a ton. Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, please let me know, but I hope that this has helped you in, um, learning how to set up your contact list, how to make sure that you're updating it and how to create a very simple, straightforward system so that you can keep track of everybody that you're talking to and make sure that you're always consistently following up with every single person that you start a conversation with. Okay. I hope this video was helpful and that you're able to get out there and get your contact list set up. All right. Thanks guys.